Christmas is a wonderful time full of fantastic traditions. And my favorite are the gifts. There's so much wonder involved with such little wrapped packages, it's unbelievable. A great gift is not determined by how it's wrapped, but the contents inside. Let me explain to you the greatest gift ever given to man. For years it was in wrapping. It had been promised to be delivered, but it was for centuries in preparation. Then the time came. The course of history was set. It was perfect. God the Father sent His Son for all of mankind. You see, He wrapped Him in humanity, in mortal flesh, and gave Him to all the world. He was born in such humble beginnings and lived as one of us. He did miracles and wonders like no one had ever seen before, but they rejected Him, despised His claim to be the Christ, so they crucified Him. He vanquished sin by the sacrifice of His body and His shed blood, and three days later He conquered death with His resurrection so that all who would believe would receive the greatest gift of all, eternal life. But it wasn't just about having the gift, but knowing the value of what's inside. What good is a gift if it's left unopened? We can share it, receive it, accept it, and hold it. It's rightfully ours, but have we opened it yet? Jesus, the Son of God, is our gift. But He says, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. The life is the gift, but the abundance is the contents within. This eternal life that God gives is more than a casual acceptance. It's an epic adventure, an adventure to discover the majesty of His goodness. It's more than a half-hearted commitment to thank Him. It's a fully persuaded heart that Jesus does not only justify mankind, but He fills them with joy. We are His children, not His acquaintances. We are His friends, not His enemies. We are His prize, so let's start acting like He's ours. Eternal life is not a fast pass to heaven. It's a most incredible opportunity to know the God of the universe. We're more consumed with our acceptance on social media. Why? Because he's not as flashy. He's not as cool. Not as trendy. Not as popular as we want. We're so fooled to think we know God when our lives aren't obsessed with making him known. Because when you see the creator, when you taste a measure of his glory, when you step foot into his awe-inspiring, matchless grace of God's loving arms, there's nothing you want more than more of what he wants. But you would never know this because you were so busy loving life that you forgot to love the giver of life. So in this new year, unwrap Jesus Christ. Thank you.